Okay, we are starting with system integration. So dear participants, where you will find systems, the word, <coughs> excuse me, we're talking about system integration of a project. So where you will find the word system, just remember a system means, this system means we are talking about environment. We are talking about environment. System means what? Uh, we say uh, this organization system is good. What does it mean? And we say, oh my God, this organization system is not good. So basically system means they have developed an environment, such an environment where people are working together in a group so that they can achieve companies, organizations, goals and objectives effectively and efficiently. So system means it's an environment and that's why you need integration, system integration. You can't develop a very good environment, work environment, stable environment if you never integrate system. Now the question is, yes, we understand system means environment. How can you develop environment? Your different department should work together. All the team members should work together. They have etiquette and manner. They know their duties and responsibilities and they follow their duties and responsibilities. So there is a system. Uh, system also related to technology. If you want to ensure a very good environment in your organization, only human resources uh, can't do that. So that's why you have technology, you have machine, you have software, you have apps. So all these together, we have system. Now, why the word is integration? We say integration is concerned with the performance, with the effectiveness, and with the cost system. So now you see the system integration means you will develop your project environment, project technology, uh, project uh, uh, software, project apps or other components related to the of the project you will design and maintain in a way that you can ensure your target performance you can ensure effectiveness and moreover you will have affordable cost so why the word integration? Now, now see, you have to integrate performance, you have to integrate effectiveness, and you have to integrate cost system. So performance, what a system does. So you have to design and maintain a system in a way that your performance will be maximum. Again, you have to design and you have to maintain a system in a way that it will help you to achieve desired performance in an optimal manner. What requires? No component specification unless necessary to meet one or more system requirements. Every component requirement should be traceable to one or more systems requirements. Design components to optimize system performance, not the performance of subsystem. So I'm using again and again, the key words are designing and maintaining. So what you have to do, you have to identify 
all the relevant components you need to run your system in a way that the system can ensure performance. You have to, you have to find out if there is any requirement of any elements relevant to the system. You have to design system components in a way that will optimize your performance. And everything you have to do, considering your budget, considering cost, you can't exceed your budget unlimited. Yes, you can have 5%, 10% deviation, but not more than that. So cost is also a design parameter. So when you design your system, you have to also consider cost. <laughs>